Well, talk about a compounding of errors. I went to start it and uh, I was told by Murray on the CX500 forum that when I started it last time it was running on one cylinder and uh, I optimistically thought that he was wrong but he wasn't obviously he knows these bikes like the back of his hand um, anyway I went to restart it and two things happened it was still running on one cylinder and the right carburetor on the other side was leaking like a sieve so um, I started to look at solutions uh, I looked at the uh, float level using some uh, hose and opening up the drain valve and the fuel level on the left one was very low it was about here the right one was right on the joint of the body and the uh, bowl which is where it's supposed to be um, so anyway I removed the carburetors I disassembled them I found that the right carburetor had a uh, crushed uh, rubber seal between the body and the bowl and that's what was allowing the leak so that was fixed and then I found that on the right and the left carburetor after I finished cleaning them and put them back together and they were all nice and polished and I wanted to keep them nice and polished so I painted them painted them with this penetrol penetrating primer oil which is really nice stuff because it keeps them nice and shiny however some of that oil must have snug in between the joint between the uh, the top cover and the body and this stuff actually dries up like a varnish and it had caused the cylinder uh, sorry the piston to get stuck so the piston wasn't moving I disassembled it, cleaned it all up, put it all back together and the float levels were good everything seemed to be working well but um, I was still getting only firing on one cylinder so then I started to look at other possibilities um, I tried swapping the... Um, so it was right, it was starting on the right cylinder but not the left um, then I start. I tried swapping the uh, cables for the the power cables for the the two coils, and when I did that, I had nothing. Like it was turning over, but it wasn't starting at all. I put it back on, and it was starting and running on the right cylinder only. I tested the uh, coils. They tested okay. I tested the pulser uh, uh, pulse generator. Uh, they were tested okay, um, and then. I remembered that when I rewired the bike I had to extend the two yellow and two blue wires that are coming from the pulse generator at the back of the bike just down there and when I extended them uh, I mixed up the wire so I wasn't sure which one belonged to which and uh, I just put it back together and it was fine so I took a punt and swapped the two yellow ones I tried starting it, it turned over but it wouldn't start. I put them back on, the yellow ones, it started only on the right cylinder. I swapped the two blue ones and bang, it started up both cylinders. So anyway, I'm in the process of um, tuning the carburetors. Um, I've got it up to operating temperature and I'm going to adjust the throttle speed, um, or I did already. Uh, with the little knob, the throttle speed adjuster there. I did some bench balancing before I put the carbs back on and and that's done with the little screw oh, hard to see, right there, that one there. So I had the little butterfly valves uh, more or less at the right at the same place and now I'm going to, once I've set up the uh, throttle speed at 1100 rpm roughly I can then uh, go ahead and balance and finish balancing them um, with some vacuum gauges that are connected to the vacuum ports there one here and one on the other side so let's do that Running at around uh, 1100 
RPM within one, uh, plus or minus 100. It's running a little bit rough at the moment. And these things are going a bit wild. I'm mucking around with the uh, throttle uh, speed control underneath the carburetor and with a little adjustment screw I've got it running at around 1100 rpm and the needles are pretty close to one another so uh, that's as balanced as I can get it that's not too bad I am now going to adjust the mixture screws for each carb um, and I'm using uh, color tune which is already in there and that'll show me the color of the burn and uh, I can adjust it according to that you can also adjust it uh, by ear but my ear is not very good at this so I'm going to use this instead And as you can hear, as it turns off, the fan has kicked in. Uh, so that's working well. That's the uh, autopilot uh, switch. Uh, I've also got the override switch right there, but I, it came on on its own. And of course, the radiator's hot. That means the thermostat open, and it's running very nicely. At the moment, the temperature is uh, 96 degrees. The little oil pressure uh, meter was working 